welcome to Exchange for Media. Today we have with us Shailaja Joshi. She's the marketing director for the potato chips category at PepsiCo India. Welcome Shailaja. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Aditi. So uh, Lay's has launched these range of slow cooked premium kettle chips, Lay's Gourmet last year. And uh, this year you have robed in Saif Ali Khan as the brand ambassador for it. I want to ask you what led to the launch of this premium range and the collaboration with Saif. So thanks for that. Yes, we launched Gourmet last year and uh, the whole idea behind the launch of Gourmet was to provide our consumers who were looking for the fine, indulgent experiences in snacking with something uh, that would really stand up to that. So, you know, uh, we launched Gourmet with that intent in mind. And uh, when we were creating the proposition for the brand, which is more about, you know, the crafted experiences, how uh, Lay's Gourmet is not just a chip, but it's crafted, you know, it brings out the finer taste of what you want to savor in life. We couldn't think of anybody better than Sef because Sef stands for his charm. He stands for the flair. He's the Nawab of Bollywood. And hence, you know, the association of him with Gourmet was very seamless and we went for it. Great. And um, so Lay's already has a wide range of chips and is a household name. And now you have come up with the gourmet, which you're calling as a premium range. Wouldn't it be a competition for your already existing range of chips that you lays? We've been eating lays for like years now. I think uh, you know how we segment our consumers' behaviors and needs is basis what what consumers are eating in various occasions at various days or points in time and hence when you do that segmentation there's a very clear need which is differentiated from the four lays which is obviously a huge brand love brand right but there is an occasion need where gourmet fits in better it's a very seamless choice in those occasions like i said which is more crafted which is more indulgent which is more premium Okay, so all our research and insight work clearly showed us that there is a need for an experience like this, which is incremental to what your Lay's core stands for or satisfies today, satisfies today. And because we've been in market for some time now, we're also seeing that coming into play. And hence, it's only going to be an incremental to the brand overall and to the business. Great. And uh, so how is this range uh, of chips like different or better than the existing range? And how do you have, if I ask you, an edge over other brands? So, um, you know, Gourmet uh, is made from a technology which is, uh, which is uh, very core to PepsiCo globally. And we brought it to India too. Uh, the entire process is very premium, is very differentiated and hence the word crafted is used because we choose the choicest potatoes, right? We slice them into thick slices. We cook them over a period of time. So the process is a slow cooking process, right? Which creates a differentiated crunch. It creates those curls, right? Uh, and then the kind of uh, seasoning flavors that we've brought in for the consumers are over these together make gourmet a very differentiated experience from any other chip that's available in market today right uh that's the reason we say it's not just the chip it's crafted you know it's it's uh, it's the finer experience that we've created with this process in place okay and if i may ask you who are your target consumers here and uh right now the the you know how did you reach the pricing point like the price at which you have kept a, a, a packet of Lay's gourmet. So what kind of research did you do and who are your target consumers? So one, I think um, we've also got a news for you. So with the with Seth coming in, okay, with this new season, we're launching a new rupees 20 pack on gourmet. This comes on back of what we've seen in market right now. We've seen a very good response coming in from the key consumers uh, with the targeted reach you know, both on media as well as on market that we've done till now. So that, that's something that we're really excited about to scale this new proposition further. In terms of who we're targeting is more of a psychographic behavioral segmentation. We want to reach out to more and more people who are looking for those finer experiences, those, those indulgent moments in life where gourmet can come in, elevate those experiences further. So it traverses across age groups, right? 
it's more of that psychographic behavior and hence Seth fits in very seamlessly there, right? To all who are looking for an experience like that, Seth is somebody that they really relate to, okay? So that's, that's, that's the entire uh, strategy in place when we talk about consumer segmentation. Okay. And uh, so chips are usually not considered as a healthy snacking option. So are you saying that gourmet are healthier than your existing range? I think what we're saying is that we've got a range of uh, offerings which can target to various consumers, right? As PepsiCo, we've got offerings which go, uh, which tries to cater to every moment or every kind of consumer needs, right? So we've got something like Quaker for healthier audiences. We've got something like Lace for people who want to really have that lip packing, uh, you know, uh, experience with snacking in there. And as a company, as a global company, as a very responsible company, we have continuously been working on, uh, you know, the global standards of what's uh, good for consumers and we stick to that. What I'm trying to say is that even when you look at gourmet, right, what we're trying to offer is a more indulgent, a more, you know, lip, lip smacking experience, but it's very differentiated from what Lay's core is, right? Now, those tangents, like I said, are built out from the entire process, right? And uh, with the piece 20 launch now, we'll be able to take it to a wider set of all the audiences. So when we segment consumers, we segment consumers basis, what they're looking for, what is needed. And in that, as a responsible company, we always provide them something that's in line with what the regulations of the country are. Right. And uh, coming to your marketing strategy, like what is the marketing strategy and how are you planning to promote uh, Lay's Gourmet? Are you uh, also opting for the influencer marketing, which is like uh, really popular these days? I think we're very excited about this entire launch plan because we want to uh, take Gourmet to the new scale. What becomes important is obviously high impact reach for which TV remains an important medium. You will be seeing us with high decibel noise on IPL where you're already seeing a lot of lays with our Lays in Home Rajkumar Rao campaign, right? Gourmet will be the next in line, both on TV as well as on digital. However, for Gourmet overall, digital will be very high, uh, highly indexed plan. Okay, we will be reaching consumers through various platforms, through various touch points. We'll be doing a lot of things uh, in different manner this time, right? So there's a lot of innovation on digital, which is planned for the consumers on Gourmet for sure. Influencer marketing is an integral part of what we do on Lay's score, but on Gourmet, that becomes more important. Like, you know, we work a lot with uh, people who are lovers of Lay's, whom we call friends of Lay's, okay? So how do we bring alive this proposition and get consumers to engage with it with influencers is going to be an integral part of the Gourmet media strategy. Right, great. This, uh, segment, with this uh, range of chips, are you expecting to capture a bigger market and if you can share with us your media mix and advertising spends also. Yes, definitely. We we planning to uh, make Gourmet available to a wider set of audience. But like I said to the people who are the psychographic segment or, uh, you know, the consumers who would, uh, who would be looking forward to an experience like this. And uh, the entire reason of launch of Cookies 20 is that we intend to more than double our distribution with the launch of Cookies 20. In terms of consumers, we intend to go to a lot more consumers. Uh, and in terms of media, this is going to be, I cannot quote numbers, but this is going to be a very, very high decibel plan for us uh, with IPL, with IPL on both TV and digital, with Seth and a lot of more TV impact as well as digital. You can be rest assured it's going to be one of the highest reach and impact media plan that you will see on these this year. Great. And my last question before I let you go, uh, how challenging is or has it been to maintain brand loyalty when it comes to Lay's? So, uh, you know, what I would say is that if you look at some of the numbers that, you know, Lay's as a brand uh, really, uh, and we're proud and we're very happy, uh, uh, you know, that the, the consumers love us like this. So if you look at us versus category, we enjoy a much, much higher affinity. We enjoy a much, much higher brand love, okay? Our spont awareness as well as all those brand matrices are actually much higher than what the category averages, which clearly shows you 
that we are blessed with consumer love right we spread millions of smiles per day now as categories and most of the categories in india okay there are uh, there are occasions there are frequencies of occasions purchase etc that categories enjoy right but for us we see that the consumers who love us stick to us they love us as a brand right it's not easy to have and we've been in the past 4 years working very hard towards it right like i told you that by doing activations like smile dekh dekh which was huge by bringing in brand ambassadors like you know alia ranveer or even say for that matter who are loved by consumers when you associate with them your consumer love also increases further doing things like hard work in the midst of pandemic right where we did not do it only for ourselves but for all the other brands okay really valuing what they were doing at that point in time it came from our heart right we've done several lto's on the brand so what it takes in order to get consumers to be here consistently interacting with a category like us is continuous engagement whether it's through new products like we've launched wafer style we've launched sizzling hot we've launched gourmet all that builds in into that frequency then secondly what you do on media how often are you talking to them then how are you talking to them what is your language of talking to them are you a brand like amit said sticking to your sustainability goals are you sticking to what's good right so like we have that entire pep positive narrative which we take very seriously on days right so i think all of that together consumers do appreciate it for us and we get it back in terms of brand love and a continuous frequency of purchase that we get from them great thank you shailja it's been wonderful talking to you and thank you amit as well thank you so much and uh, we thank wish you. you all the best for the campaign ahead thank you very thank much thank you so much thank you for thank talking you. to us Thank you.